All right, 6.30 in the morning. Uh, I think I got a good sleep. We went to bed at like 8 p.m. I don't really know why, but yeah. So I got a lot of sleep, which is a good thing. Let's go. Oh look, there's Jose. Oh look, there's Pedro. <laughs> Sun just like blasted through all of a sudden. Look at that. Pepe, there you are, hi. <laughs> we're just packing up all of our stuff, which is a lot of stuff. And then, uh, then we're headed up to the hills, gonna go for another drive, and we were looking at the, the altitude kind of chart, and it's just like straight down right from the very beginning, so good way to start the morning. So in my last few videos, you may have noticed a lot more music and a lot less trail audio than usual. That's because on this trip, I kind of had a bit of a perfect storm of gear malfunction that caused 90% of my audio to be totally unusable. So I've been using what I can and integrating a lot more music into the rest of it, which I hope you've been enjoying. But we'll be back to those sweet, sweet trail sounds soon. So Pedro and I are switching bikes, talking to camera by the way. <laughs> I wanted to try this out. I feel like, yeah, look at that. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Slightly different. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I got that dual crown on there, so. Oh no, where's this going? Whoa. Oh. You know what? It's not as sketchy as I thought it was gonna feel. I mean, it's sketchy, but. Woo. Yeah. You like? Yeah. Yeah, it's so long, man. So the trail we're about to do, um, Jose was just saying that down there, the lower trail, that's one of the original Inca trails. So it's about 600 years old. And that's the trail we're gonna be taking from here on out. Doing that training, with Craig from We Physio Performance is just so invaluable for this trip. To know what zones I need to stay in to be able to last all day. Oh, hold on, hold up. 
So he destroyed that room. The Inca Trail's biting back so far on this ride, which hasn't been super long. We've had three punctures and a busted rim. <laughs> yeah, everybody's everybody's getting hit. Well, a few people anyways, hopefully not everyone. All right, back on it. And right into the rock garden. The endless rock gardens. Diving into this section of trail was one of the most memorable of the whole trip for me. Think about the huge difference between here and where we first dropped in for the day, only a few miles back. Peru really is the land of contrast. So this is where things got real. We don't have skinnies in Edmonton. The trail became incredibly narrow and the exposed drop off on the right hand side went down hundreds of feet at times. Awesome. Oh yeah. Look ahead. Okay, did you see that? That was the moment I truly thought I was gonna lose balance and go over. That little bar shake right there Whoa. was my brain freaking out. That got me for a sec there. After that little gem of a section, we followed this irrigation channel thing back down to civilization and we had a ton of fun on the way. working that gimbal. <laughs> yeah. Look at that food. Mm. All right, be honest. Do I look like I've just been riding in Peru all day? Yeah, everyone's got a nice little unibrow thing going on. All done? All done for today, and we have one more day of riding, so we're gonna go get some food, can have a good, good, good sleep, and get ready for tomorrow.